Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Hey everybody, before I bring Dr. Tony on, I wanted to first talk to those of you that have written in about assembling a database of all the questions that have been asked on Ask Dr. Tony beginning in 2009. It goes back a long ways, and I have to admit, when we first started out doing this, we had no idea how popular it was going to become. So I want to say that's a really, really good idea, but in order for that to happen, you're going to have to help me. Because since 2009, I've changed my computer out at least six times, all those records, all those questions have been lost, with the exception of what we have on YouTube. Now, here's how it works. Beginning in 2009, I will need somebody to watch the shows, record the title of the show and the date that it was recorded, and then write down verbatim the questions that were asked, and be sure to write down the start times time code, so people then can be linked directly to the beginning of the question. This is from 2009 to 2013. In 2013, I started to break the lengthy shows up into parts. And at the beginning of each part, I would list a short version of the question. Now, when you run across one of these parts in a show, record the title of the show and the date that it was recorded. And then, once again, write down verbatim the questions that were asked and be sure to write down the start time's time code. In 2013, we came out with the book, Been There, Done That, Try This. We had statistically significant information that told us the 17 most stressing, pressing issues in the life of somebody with autism. We started to use those to define categories. From that point on, we not only get the question, but we put in the category. So, from 2015 on, write down the title of the show, when it was filmed, the category of the question, and then the questions in that category, and be sure to write down the start time's time code. Thanks to Been There, Done That, Try This, using those categories, I was able to put together an index. People could see the categories, the questions under the categories, and then the time codes of when those segments would start. So once this thing is prepared, I want to put it up. Everybody on Google can find what they're after without having to go through all the shows. Now, what do I have to offer? I can't pay you. This has never been a for-profit enterprise. But perhaps a tchotchke or a book or something from Dr. Tony or me. I know it's a small thank you, but the benefits you're giving all the people in the autism community is huge. And I do want to thank you for participating. So write me on Autism Hangout. Let me know if this is something you can handle. Ask me your questions. And hopefully we can get this up and running so more people can find answers to the things that are stressing them about autism.